views expressed in this vlog, as with 99.9% .9 of my presentations, are by way of my spiritual, spiritual, meta and non-physical experiences, explorations, core memories, observations, and analysis thereof. Therefore, I freely share information with anyone who is receptive to it. I only ask that you listen to what is presented in its entirety before you post a comment or draw a final conclusion on what is shared. My intent is and has always been to inspire, encourage, empower, and uplift those who are open to my offerings, be it through my revelations, creative artistry, music, or speaking voice. These are all different manifestations and expressions of information that I really enjoy sharing and expressing. Having stated this, if you are self-righteous, egocentric, deeply religious, or not open to learning beyond what you have accepted as your final truth, you should stop this video now. Everyone else is very welcome to proceed and as always, take whatever feels right, resonate, and leave the rest behind. Alright, I'm going to take my time on this one and some of y'all are going to probably think I have really gone off the deep end even though what I'm about to share with you in this particular vlog is nothing compared to the revelations that I have received over the years but again I, gi I give things in like baby s steps you know a little bit at a time because you know as I said before how difficult it is for those of us who have a, a sense of perception that is beyond the norm to come forth and share things that most people would think is just absolutely crazy and insane but at the same time there is that segment of the population who knows that what we talk about is true but the difference is they may not be as confident enough to openly talk about it. My mother just shared something with me uh, that she didn't share with anyone her entire life. She kept it to herself for fear of people thinking ill of her. Now, of course, you know, if my own mother, my mother knows of the revelations and experiences that I've had, she knows me one of the people who one of the few people who truly know me like nobody else's business if she is uncomfortable sharing a, what we would call a paranormal experience with her son who talks about these things all the time I mean really just think of how many people who are in the world who are the same way my mother happens to identify as Christian by the way and we were brought up in um, Christian uh, religious environment and um, from day one I gotta be honest most of it just simply did not resonate with me and it was mostly because I had a perspective that just didn't fall in alignment with what was being told or pushed on to me and so thus the many many experiences the um, observation, the analysis, um, and coming forth and openly sharing my experiences, it's my app, my uh, analysis and exploration regarding the nature. What I'm talking about is not fantasy, make believe, or religious dogma and all that stuff. Even though some truths trickle in under these different belief systems. What I'm speaking about and what I'm about to share with you is nature. The true nature of reality. Now there are two kinds of realities occurring on this particular realm. There is the artificial reality which most people are plugged into. Some may call it the matrix. 
some may call it the computer system either way it is a artificial construct a lot of holographic type activity going on again this is not something that I've read this is something that for whatever reason I was able to tap into and so have many others but have been afraid to come forth and talk about it then there's the nature reality then there are dimensional realities then there are cosmic realities then there are interplanetary realities interstellar reality I can go on and on and on it's infinite now even though we are in this artificial hacked computer virtual world like reality the physical dense form there are those of us who have an activation or a level of sensitivity we can tap into these many 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 different natural realities and what do I mean by this all around us there are frequencies you are a frequency you have a certain vibratory imprint that's why no matter whether you have a physical body or not we will always know one another by this vibratory imprint that never ever changes it is forever who and what identifies us like a fingerprint we have a vibratory imprint and therefore the physical body was created under a different set of circumstances laws physics I would even say some interferences and that's another long story and then you have the core of who you are which was created from a different kind of setup and so what has happened is you have the physical artificial artificial physical body and then you have the true core of yourself coming together as one meaning you have multi-dimensional capabilities the physical body is a transmitter and receiver a biological transmitter and receiver computer all the hairs on your head and on your body are individual antennas and each of those antennas is directly connected to a cell within the body and just like an antenna to a radio or television the longer the antenna you know when you stick a, a push up an antenna sometimes you I don't know if they have my hadn't seen them in a long time where if you put if you have an antenna attached to a device and the antenna is pushed down flat or bent or broken you can't receive the reception isn't that great but if you get an antenna stand it straight up you will receive different frequencies channels and stations emitting different frequencies and that radio will bring forth whatever station that we tune into and of course the longer the antenna the more better reception we have meaning the longer the antenna that's standing up the better the reception that we have but of course if the antenna is bent broken or way down or what have you we can't receive the transmission physical body the same way we bend our hair we fry it we do all kind of things and I'm guilty of it you know when you don't know any better hey but when we do unnatural things to our hair that's only one of many 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 ways in which we cut off transmission and this is how and why some of us can perceive and pick up frequencies of these different realities where the majority or a great deal of us can or maybe all of us pick up on these different realities at some point or another it's kind of sporadic or random but then there's those of us who for whatever reason there are a myriad of reasons can tap into these things at any given time or even at will children are a fine example very young children are, for the most part, among a few groups on earth who have an innate connection to nature or spirit. 
The reason for this is due to the fact that they are not as dense, programmed, indoctrinated, conditioned, polluted, hypnotized, intoxicated, and deviated, consciously speaking, as us adults. Those imaginary friends that a young child may talk about are often interdimensional beings whose vibratory signature or imprint is easily received and recognized by not only them children, but animals as well. Children and animals are the most open receptors and decoders of spirit, worlds, and other dimensional realms on the planet. The vast majority will eventually lose this connection and even their memories of these things as they grow older, denser, and go through all of the systems, tools, and vices that implants and reinforces programs of fear, ego, separation, extreme limitations, dogma, hatred, and all of the isms under the sun. These are but a few vices and ways our amnesia is created and reinforced. So children can perceive and pick up more, so can animals, cats, and um, uh, dogs. That's why they can hear and see things that we can't. Again, the hair, the fur on their bodies, antennas. And they have not been indoctrinated with belief systems and dogma, etc. to a point of focus where they are no longer paying attention to all that's really in and around them. Your DNA, that junk DNA, as I've stated in a couple of videos back, just imagine what is really behind that DNA if it's activated and if we weren't doing all these unnatural things to our bodies and our hair, etc., to block off the transmission. Now, some of this could very well be blessings in disguise because I know that a lot of this stuff, people are not going to be able to handle it. But the reason why people such as myself are coming forth to share our stories is because as we've said many 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 times before there is a shift going on the physical body was originally created in 5d that's why we have five fingers five toes five senses when in truth we actually have more but in this artificial construct that is what is allowed to be the norm because we are the physical body not talking about the greater part of who we really are I'm just talking about the physical body is a five dimensional construct the earth is a fifth dimensional construct yes the earth was and is actually a 5d construct but after a series of catastrophic events that I will not get into at this time she and all of her inhabitants slowed down in their vibratory rate and speed and fell down into 3D. Of course, this is and was the beginning of the collective disharmony and disconnection with Mother Earth, animals, and nature as a whole. This is also how and why our ancestors fell backwards into a primitive state. All of these events eventually led to warism, tribalism, cannibalism, etc. Here is also where outside forces came in and began taking advantage of our vulnerable states, feeding off of the carnage and confusion, and it's pretty much been that way ever since. The core of the earth is a billion times greater than that, just like we individually and collectively I just wish more people understood the foolishness that's really behind this focus on the shell. It's alright to celebrate what you have and enjoy and take care of it and want to take pride in it. But this over identification is another reason why we cannot see what is really going on in and around us. So where am I going with this? My dear sister uh, Miss Quiet Queen, what's up? Shout out to her. She did a video about uh, a fairy uh, being haunted by a fairy. And I'll put that video link underneath this one if you are not familiar with it. And I thumbed up that video and even left a comment there. But 
I have recently been getting quite a few emails and video links about this subject matter. Someone even asked if I would talk about it. Now, I'm saying all this to set up what I am about to share with you guys because I know there are people out there who are just not going to get it if I just come right out off the cuff and just start talking about it and of course there's still going to be people who are not going to get it and that's just fine those who get it hey that's what it's all about those who don't hey eventually sometime at some point you will but Miss Quiet Queen had done a video about being uh, stalked or harassed or dealing with a mischievous elemental or you know she says it's a fairy I like to call them elementals and elementals are a part of the some may call them the elemental kingdom or the Devic kingdom kingdom these kingdoms are natural uh, natural states they they are nature these are nature beings. Why don't we see them? Because we are more focused and connected into an artificial construct which is anti, for the most part, anti-nature. These entities have always come in and out of fifth to fourth to third. They had that ability. And those of us who are sensitive especially children have seen them so when you guys hear children talking about an imaginary friend no 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 that's the mistake and some of us have even had our so-called imaginary friends no these children more than often are actually interacting with beings that we cannot see because we do not have the activation to receive to decode that light transmission but with the changes going on with the artificial reality collapsing and with the glitches going on you will there will be more of these uh, interdimensional interstellar type events going down they have already started like I said some of you guys are talking about seeing strange colors strange geometric patterns numbers codes in addition, more awakened or awakening ones among us are literally seen with both their naked and mind's eye, auras and planetary grid lines. Others are sensing the thoughts and feelings of others, heightened intuition as well as experiencing precognitive dreams. Speaking of which, the most common form of precognitive dreams at this time are people you don't know nor have ever met showing up in your dream state but you will actually run into or meet the individual or individuals within two to three days in this current physical reality yes these things really are occurring all of this is tied to the computer itself that we are connected to meaning we within 3D within this vibratory density and so more of us as our DNA mutates and as the veil thins more of us will be seeing not only beings that are called fairies gnomes these creatures really do exist now see we have to keep this in mind what has happened in the artificial reality is that the reality has been put before us in the form of entertainment and make believe the nature of reality let me specify that and the history a history that most of us are not privy to but it's within us we we know this and we can access this nothing that I'm saying and sharing with you guys is not is is nothing that I'm saying is not verifiable if we know how to go about doing it we do not need middlemen or anything we can go straight to the Akashic records we can go straight to spirit or we can tap into the inner self and draw those memories up because all the cells in our bodies hold the sum total of everything that our ancestors did was and are there's that connection 
So these beings are a part of history. They are 5D. When the earth and the original man fell from 5D and lost the connection to nature and the memory of who and what they are and their interdimensional abilities, intellect, a lot of that went away. We basically fell into a primitive state. These elementals did not fall. We did. We meaning humans fail just from the physical perspective. I'm not talking about the greatest spirit, the core, the spirit. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking and dealing with physical this, the biological computer. This fell into third density along with Earth because there was a great war. And it's a long, long, long story. And it's very layered and complex. But there was a war and the Earth fell, slowed down and, and, and spin and flipped on its axis, on her axis. And this caused a domino effect. And so this, called, this is what caused the disconnect from nature and the greater reality but these elementals did not fall like I said and they have been coming in and out of because many of them are very mischievous characters and by the way they, they don't look exactly like they've been depicted in the cartoons and the books they they have a very diverse uh, uh, there's a diverse expression they're very diverse in expression that's what I'm trying to say they are very diverse in expression. Some of them are completely covered with hair. Some of them look like a cross between uh, an insect and a person. Some of them are light beings. And when I say light, I'm talking about organic light beings. I mean, some of them are cross between, uh, uh, well, you get the picture. I'm not going to go into all that because I don't want to make this video too long. But the fact that many people have had experiences with these entities and it is growing I want to make people aware of this so that when you have your experiences with not only beings from the elemental kingdom as the veil thins and as more people DNA come online and get activated and start tapping into and decoding these other frequencies you will know how to handle it because I know some a lot of people just can't handle it. I mean, just the thought of this stuff is terrifying. And this is where it's very difficult for me. I walk a fine line because I want to share so much more. But I also understand how fragile people are in um, their sensibility and protecting what they have come to believe and accept to be reality for them. And... A lot of times, whether it's true or not, when people come forth and bring and share information that is in direct opposition to everything that a person believed to be true, people automatically go on the defense and on the attack. They don't even receive it, and that's fine too. But the truth of the matter is that nature is coming into view. We are evolving. DNA is mutating. More people are seeing things that are out of the usual. And this will escalate. Now the other thing that I want to talk about that you guys will probably think is really out there. And that's okay because hey, that's my nature. <laughs> but some of these elementals have incarnated in human bodies. They incarnate as the dwarfs, as the people who have what we call strange diseases. The, 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 little, the children who age very, very fast. Progeria, dwarfism, and even the pygmy people are actually spiritual beings of the elemental kingdom having a human experience. They play key roles in our re-evolution and they provide a spiritual link to and between 3D and 5D. Progeria, the condition where children age at a very fast rate 
is baffling to the minds of doctors who view the world through physical eyes. But to those of us who can see the bigger picture, we can see what's actually behind those so-called anomalies. I will now briefly provide a metaphysical revelation behind the beings who have the condition, or better yet, temporal state of progeria and why is very relevant to the information that I am sharing with you now. These are beings from different dimensions and their vibratory rate is much, 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 much faster. And so when they incarnate in the physical form, they are influencing the biological structure of the physical DNA and they are accelerating because again, the higher the frequency, the faster the vibratory rate. The slower, the lower the vibratory rate. And this is where people, we always use the term low, vibra low vibrational, low vibratory thought, low vibratory actions. That means that very, very slow and low. These beings incarnate, like I said, in physical body to keep the connection. They're like beacons of light, so to speak, or vessels for light to keep the connection between 3D and 5D. Some of us come from realms beyond that. We are like anchors. We, we project our core into these physical bodies to be anchors to keep a connection keep earth anchored and connected to these higher realms that um, she was once a part of to keep that anchor we are anchors we are vessels and when we come in and incarnate we bring ideas uh, creations art fashion architecture etc we bring those things here and we manifest them here in 3D. This is why the Earth is basically a microcosm of the cosmos. The, the fashion, the hats, etc. These elementals and these gnomes come in and they bring the memory of their culture from the Devic Kingdom and how they went about doing things something, something like free energy there are beings here who are who have been trying and are still trying to bring about the way in which we can have free energy like I said architecture all of this stuff is not new and it is brought here and manifested here by beings who come from different realms of reality like it or not that is the nature of reality and so now all of it is come uh, accumulating and gradually incrementally coming to a head and it is best that we be prepared and understand what is going on so we don't kick up fear we don't feed into dogma we don't feel in feed into terror or be subjected to any of these things it's very easy to do when you don't know any better it's very easy to convince a 3d being who's lost all connection and don't remember the true fluid nature of reality that an astral being is God talking to them it's very easy to believe that when you don't know any better it's very easy to see a being who's just a part of a different reality who may look very different from you. It's very easy to assume that is a demon because you don't remember and you don't know any better. We automatically put names and categories on things or better yet we tend to demonize. This is a human conditioning. We tend, we tend to demonize things that we don't understand. Now tell me I'm lying about that. <laughs> so I didn't want to make this video too long. I may do a part two depending on the feedback that I get. I'm going to again link uh, Miss Quiet Queen's video to this one. And I'm going to also link another video where uh, 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 um, 
an elemental was actually caught on camera and based on what I feel and what I read from it it's 100% authentic I'm gonna link that but before you check those videos out leave a comment or rate I know a lot of y'all out there watching my videos and you will not rate or leave a comment because you're so afraid that your other friends or subscribers will see your feed and find that you're watching an Astro Boo Baby video or a video that is outside of the box that's that fear that's that fear we're talking about we got to get out of this stuff worrying about what other people going to think about us because we are expressing and showing an interest in something that we relate to there are a lot of people who can relate to what i'm saying who have had experiences and these people still will not thumbs up or subscribe or like a video because they fear other people will come along and find that they are showing an interest in it let go of the fear family It's truly truly especially in this regard it is truly non-productive and it reinforces barriers and it creates a magnetic shift a domino effect that is not the best for you let go of the fear and stop worrying about what other people think about you and what you're interested in and who you are and where you are and on that note I would like to thank you for your time.